uh, both sides of the coin with that one. I have do it yourself and I have go to the salon. What I suggest is that when you're walking around town shopping or if you're going anywhere and you see a lady in your local community with fabulous looking hair, go over to her and compliment her or him and ask them who cuts their hair. Because all the hairdressers say, of course, I do great haircuts. And then a, a lot of my clients, a lot of people I talk to, if you go into the salon, you say, I want half an inch cut. Just cut off the ends. They cut off six to 12 inches. And these are top salons that charge a lot of money. So this is very traumatic. So I suggest, you know, looking around, trying to find somebody with fabulous hair, go over to them, talk to them, ask them who does it. And then you need to interview the hairdresser. Don't just make an appointment and go. And I suggest going to three different hairdressers. I mean, after all, your hair is one of your crowning glory. It's the beautifying effect of the energy we have, and it contains our chi. So you have the right to interview a hairdresser. So I say, call up the salon, you know, talk to someone and say, you know, who do you have that only, only cuts? You don't want someone that cuts colors, perms, does all that stuff. So you try to find someone that only cuts, you get a really good cut. Then you go in and interview them and ask them, like, exactly, do you only blunt snip cut? Do you actually use a razor? Do you cut it wet? Do you cut it dry? You know, and look at our website and we'll explain to you what all that means. Then you say, if I ask you for a half inch cut and you cut me six inches, you know, how do I react to that? What are we going to do about that? Can you promise me that if I say I want one inch cut, you won't cut any more than that? And if I want a blunt cut or you know, if I tell you what I want, and then can you do that? You, you need to confront the hairdresser in a nice way. Interview the hairdresser. Go there, interview them before you allow them to touch you. So you feel safe and you're not going to walk out with t having your hair cut 12 inches shorter than you at requested or having it all chopped up. So that's all on our website. And then you take the, our shampoo with you and you can say, I only want you to use my product. Not allowed to shampoo with the bar junk that they have in it. And they're not allowed to spray your hair with hairspray, which is paint. You know, styling products? No, I have my own styling products. So that's one side of the coin. So if you're like shoulder length or longer, all you have to do is come out of the shower with wet hair. Then you comb it down, brush it down, right? Then you just take the ends of the hair, you pull it down, and you have a t complete control. And you hold the hair and you cut off a quarter of an inch or a half an inch or an inch, but you can do this once a month. And as you know, we have the lunar hair cutting cycle, which is the five ways to cut your hair. So when you cut your hair, there's five different days a month. You can do lengthening, strengthening, thickening, root work, or beautifying. So you pick one of those things. If you want your hair to grow longer, you pick lengthening. If you want thicker hair, stronger hair, you pick out strengthening or root work. But if you want your hair to be wavy, if it's straight and you want your hair to wave, or if it's not looking great, you want it to be beautiful, you can cut it on a beautifying day. But you want to always check on our website because those dates are very powerful, very, very powerful haircutting dates. And people will grow hair like, say, three to four inches a year. If you cut it during the lunar cycle, you can cut, you can grow between six to eight inches a year. So wow. people say, my hair only grows to a certain length and it won't grow any longer. Well, that's because the ends are split. Once you have one hair, let's say this is one hair, and the end splits, it does this, right? So now it's, it's splitting from here and going down. So your hair is getting broken, broken, broken. So all the ends are splitting up. So your hair is growing from your roots, of course. The hair is growing out, but it's the ends that is breaking and coming up. That's why people can only grow to a certain length and they can't go any longer because they have bad hair techniques and they're not their habits are not well done they have not good hair care products and they're not cutting on the lunar cycle so once you start cutting your hair on the lunar cycle you add in the scrubbing the scalp massaging the brushing the hair care products that are all natural you can grow your hair as long as you want as thick as you want today we're having an epidemic with women women are now globally having hair loss and thinning which has never happened before it's a new epidemic. And where is it coming from? It's coming from that the hair care products in the salons and the pharmacies are more powerful. The chemicals are more concentrated than they've ever been before in history. So we have to be very careful of what we're doing in the salons and buying products in commercial spaces. 
So the whole process of cutting your own hair couldn't be better. I highly recommend it. Really easy. Look at our videos. Look at our educational literature. You want to basically wet your hair, comb it out, brush it out, cut it once a month. Even if you cut it one sixteenth of an inch, what you're doing is you're shocking the roots. Every time you snip the ends of the hair, that sends a message to the roots. When I cut hair, and we had people come in with fabulous hair, really thick, really well groomed. The ends were like nice and solid. They had to be cut once a season, no matter how thick, no matter how well groomed your hair is, to get that spectacular bounce and that thickness and that horse mane look on your hair or that mermaid effect. You really want to cut it every three months, once a season, no matter what. To get those split ends, you know, sealed. Even if you only cut it one sixteenth of an inch, and then again, if your hair is not that great, you can cut it once a month, once every six weeks, or once every two months, but a little bit at a time, just cutting off the ends, and you'll be shocked. I'm telling you, amazed how thick your hair will get really fast. Amazing if you just cut the ends off. You think, well, that's just the ends, and they seal the ends, but. What's happening is that all the hair is now you can brush it, now you can comb it. It's the ends that are making everything matted on the bottom. So when you try to style your hair, the ends are the culprit, not the hair. You'll be amazed how easy it is to brush, style, scalp massage, all of that. Comb your hair is so much easier, and then your life will become so much stress-free, really healthy.